Rack installation for the DVAR IP all in one 7000, fourth generation. In this video, we will show the steps of the process of installing the DVAR IP all in one 7000 in a rack. We will go through the following steps. Step 1. Showing the contents of the rack mount kit. Step 2. Preparing the inner rails for installation. Step 3. Installing the inner rails to the chassis. Step 4. Installing the outer rails to the rack. Step 5. Installing the chassis in the rack. And finally, step 6. Securing the chassis in the rack. Step 1. Showing the contents of the rack mount kit. First, we will show the contents of the rack mount kit. Later, we will install the inner rails to the two UDVAR IP all in one 7000. All parts of the rails are attached to each other prior to installation and securely packaged in the box. The front of the rails is indicated for easier installation later. Both rails are the same, there are no specific left or right side rails. The rack mount kit comes with three bags of screws for secure installation. Step 2. Preparing the inner rails for installation. Screws that are delivered with the product. Slide the intermediate rail out of the outer rail until it clicks to a stop. Turn over the rail. Note the white release tab. Then slide it outwards and remove the inner rail from the intermediate rail. Turn the rail over and locate the lever, indicated by the purple sticker. Push the lever up, to slide the intermediate rail back into the outer rail. Step 3. Installing the inner rails to the chassis. Correctly align the inner rails. Note the spring latch that will snap the rails in place once installed correctly. Align the inner rail to the notches on both sides of the chassis. Push the inner rail backwards towards the rear of the chassis so that the inner rail extensions click and are latched onto the chassis using the spring latch. If there's ever a need to remove the inner rails, simply use a flathead screwdriver to hook behind the spring latch. Secure the inner rail to the chassis using the bundled screws. Step 4. Installing the outer rails to the rack. Each outer rail has a front and a rear clamp. You can adjust the distance between the front and rear clamp by extending the rails, so that it fits into racks with various depths. The outer rails come with mounting screws pre-installed on the front of the outer rail. The pre-installed mounting screws allow for installation in square hole racks without using any tools. For installation to round hole racks, make sure to swap the mounting screws to the bundled set of mounting screws designed for round hole racks. Consult the installation manual for the exact procedure. Determine the position in the rack where you want to install the chassis, and extend the rail to fit the rack. Place the outer rails at the desired position inside the rack posts, with the front label pointing to the front rack posts. Make sure that the correct side of the rail points inwards and the clamp at the front is not covered, by sliding the rail out a bit. Align then push the mounting bracket pins at the front end of the outer rail into the holes in the rack posts. Make sure the clamp on the front of the outer rail clicks into place. 
Removing the rail is easy. Simply push the clamp away from the rack post and pull the rail backwards. Align the mounting bracket pins at the rear end of the outer rail with the holes in the rack posts. Push the mounting bracket pins into the holes in the rack posts and make sure the rail click into place and clamps onto the rack posts. Optionally, the rails can be secured to the rack with the provided screws. Step 5. Installing the chassis in the rack. To install the chassis in the rack, fully extend the intermediate rail until it clicks to a stop. Slide the inner rails into the intermediate rails, keeping the pressure even on both sides. Once the chassis reaches a stop, pull the blue release tab on the inner rail so the device slides in further. Push the chassis completely into the rack and make sure that it clicks into the locked position. Step 6. Securing the chassis in the rack. Pull the handles down and secure the chassis using the pre-installed screws. The device can now be wired and is ready for use. 